U.S. Environmental Protection Agency figures estimate that nearly 1 percent of the nation's produced gas goes wasted in the air through methane emissions. But figures from a comprehensive study led by Stanford University show that in reality about 3 percent of the gas is leaked. Our study has one million measurements. There are one million instances where an airplane flew over a well site and collected data. It's part of a global trend as large methane emissions detected worldwide by satellites grew 50% in 2023 compared to the previous year. But the United States remains the top methane emitter from oil and gas production and its unexpectedly higher emissions are a big concern for climate change. The second most important greenhouse gas is methane, which is uh, uh, responsible for about 18% of the of the warming and, uh, and, and we have seen a record in the, in the growth of methane concentration uh, last year. The Stanford study also suggests that the U.S. methane emissions amount to more than $9 billion in additional climate-related damage every year, accounting for harm to the economy and human well-being. And they are a result of both intentional vents and unintentional leaks. When the drilling happens, both oil and gas come out, but the main thing that the companies wanted to sell in most cases was the oil. Gas became, at certain points, kind of a byproduct, and prices were very low locally, in some cases negative, where companies had to pay someone to take their gas away. And under those circumstances, it's uh, less than surprising that there would be less incentive to capture the gas. While the problem is much worse than what the government anticipated, the study authors say there could be a quick fix to a part of the problem, as nearly 50 percent of these leaks are from only about 1 percent of the oil and gas facilities, mostly in Texas and New Mexico. This is really an opportunity to cut emissions quite rapidly uh, with you know, targeted efforts at these highest emitting sites. And if we can get this roughly 1% of sites under control, then we're, we're halfway there. The revelation follows a pledge made by 50 global oil companies last December at the UN Climate Summit in Dubai to reach near zero methane emissions and end routine flaring in operations by 2030. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles. Country commitments.